MV-75 official designation given to future U.S. Army Tiltroder assault aircraft. The U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA, Tiltroders will be designated MV-75s. The service announced today at the Army Aviation Association of America's annual Mission Solutions Summit. In 2022, the Army picked a design from Bell, based on that company's V-280 Valor Tiltroder, as the winner of its FLRAA competition. The service expects to replace a substantial number of its H-60 Black Hawk helicopters, including a portion of the Special Operations MH-60Ms assigned to the Elite 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, SOAR, with new MV-75 SES. The design is set to be finalized by the end of the year and incorporates features to help make it easier to convert baseline variants into Special Operations versions. In terms of the designation itself, the M stands for multi-mission, and the V refers to it being a vertical takeoff and landing capable design. Whether the number 75, which is very much out of sequence with other known V designations, has any special significance is unknown. The Army's stated goal has been for the MV-75 to begin entering service by 2030, but has said more recently that they are now trying to aim for the 2028 timeframe, driving to get this aircraft online years ahead of schedule, at least as it has been communicated now, the first operational MV-75 could start being delivered well before the end of the decade. The Army's premier air assault unit, the 101st Airborne Division, is set to be the first unit to get MV-75s. The 101st has already begun laying the groundwork to receive the future Tiltroders, which officials say will completely transform how it conducts operations.